Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Nicholas Pujarminta. I'm 16, and I've been working with digital 3D art for about five years now. What you saw was just a little time-lapse video I put together of a few recordings of myself modeling some characters in a 3D software called Blender. As cliche as it may sound, 3D modeling, 3D art, whatever you may have called it, has really shaped my perspective of life. To dream big without boundaries and to turn those those childhood fantasies into realities. But before we get into too much of the small details, I'd like to first give you guys a quick introduction of what exactly is 3D modeling. And 3D modeling is pretty much just the manipulation of 3D geometry. Therefore, you'd have something like, let's say, a three-dimensional cube. And you would have vertices, edges, and faces. Vertices are like the corner pieces. And edges are like the lines, and faces are, well, the faces. And taking that concept, we can then create something a bit more sophisticated. So over here we have a handy cam. And even though it looks a lot more complicated, if we look closely, we still have, it's just made of vertices, edges, and faces. And once you understand that, the possibilities are endless. Uh, over here we have a model that I recently made, and it's based off the proportions of the lovely dancer Hina Nagai. So instead of having a cube with eight vertices, we now have a character with over 6,000. But going back a few years, my journey in this art form began when I was a little boy. Back then, I used to spend hours gazing into the distance, using my imagination to imagine different worlds, some of fantasy, others science fiction. It was then that I began to gain this obsession to turn my childhood fantasies into visual realities. One of these worlds that I imagined was a world called Leiden, a dystopian universe run by a corrupt government which used robotic soldiers called hunters to control its population. So by the time I was 13, already with a decent knowledge of 3D modeling, I decided to go ahead and make it. So here we actually have that robot constructed in 3D, the one in which I dreamt about when I was younger. That's what I love about this art form. We can develop our ideas and we can create universes. Over here we have a cartoon that I made in eighth grade, and it was actually based off some sketches done by a girl named Beatrice Karabacek. So if you're wondering how people at Pixar make their movies, this is pretty much how it's done. But five years have passed since I've begun working with this art form, and something that has bothered me a little is that just not that many people do it. It's been a place untraveled by most which is why I created the Digital Arts Club at GIS. I hope to inspire people to try this new art form and to share its beauty. We often hear talks regarding the importance of an idea, because, of course, an idea is like a seed. It has the potential to become something magnificent. But without proper nourishment, without proper treatment, it will forever remain just a seed, just an idea. With this art form, however, we can develop it, we can execute it, we can transcend it into a flawless design. Eric Thomas once said, the greatest feeling in the world is execution. I take that quote to heart. Recently I was given the opportunity to work on the proposal design for this music museum in Kotatua. And although it's still really early in the process, I believe this is one great example of how this art form can change the world. Because of it, young people are given the opportunity to create things that can be constructed in real life. And therefore, we can pretty much create designs to be constructed in our reality. And even more so, we can create realities outside of our own. According to Global Connect, 1.7 billion people on this planet play video games. And I believe the success of that industry is due to its brilliant ideology to immerse the player into a separate, virtual interactive universe. But those universes, those realities, need to be created. Our reality needs to be created. Therefore, I hope to inspire those of you out there to enter this new realm of digital 3D art, so that maybe one day you'll be the ones inspiring others. Thank you.